to be here. Ah. Good time to be here. Ah. Jumping into the sports news and uh, a couple of very high profile stories today. One is that a rugby great calls it a day. Oh. Ah. I know. In general, followed the callings in his life to pursue a rugby career and now he hangs his boots. The world yesterday celebrated Kenya 7's legend Collins Injera, saying his legacy will remain for eternity. Yes, it will. Injera 36, who is the second highest try scorer in the World Rugby 7 Series, <coughs> excuse me, and also the 2016 Singapore 7s player of the final, has retired from international rugby after a glittering career spanning two decades. Former Kenya 7s team coach Mike Friday Former Kenya Rugby Union KRU Chairman Mwangi Mude and Richard Omwela and KRU Director of Rugby Thomas Odundo, who is also a former Kenya Simbas head coach, celebrated in Jera as a rare rugby gem. Uh, There's a great, great statement here by Mike Friday who says, It was a pleasure to hunt with you, Kolo, and you made Kenya proud. You have earned it. Enjoy the next chapter. Some of the milestones in his career, the 2008-2009 Adelaide Sevens Cup finalist, 2008-2009 World Rugby Sevens top try scorer, 42 tries, 2008-2009 World Series Player of the Year nominee, 2009 Sports Personality of the Year winner, Order of the Grand Warrior of Kenya in 2010, 2016 Singapore Sevens Cup winner, 2018 Vancouver Sevens Cup finalist, 2018 Hong Kong Sevens Cup finalist, World Cup 20. No, World Cup 2009 Cup semi-finalist, 2013 Cup semi-finalist, and 2018-2022 Commonwealth Games, 2010, 2014, 2018, their Commonwealth Games, Olympic Games 2016, 2020, inducted in Fiji Sevens Rugby Hall of Fame 2023, and WR Series record all-time scorer, second, with 279 tries. By the time somebody is listing all these honors, Namtwana Hema, that's how you know somebody is a great. Mm. Congratulations to him. And I wish him the best. And we all wish him the best in the next phase of his journey. Living legend. Yes. Uh, 